What is up ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a new video. Today we have the top 5 best assault weapons in Battlefield 2042. We'll go from worst to best and this is pretty much a video because there's only 6 assault rifles in the game. I'll pretty much list them all and we'll go from worst to best. So the guns at the best I definitely recommend using and the guns at the bottom I do not recommend using. Also, I'll be showcasing you guys the attachments that I use for each weapon, which will make the gun as best as it possibly can be. I got pretty close to an accurate top 5, I think, uh, based it on quite a bit of experience. And with the last update, some of the guns changed. That's why I made a new top 5 list right now. So hopefully this video will help out. Let me know if it did. And also let me know your favorite assault rifle. I'm actually kind of curious what you guys' favorite is and where it is in the list that I'm giving you guys right now. So let's get right into it. The gun that I'll be uh, putting at the bottom, the number 6 pretty much, is the AM40. It's a gun that was brought into the game with Season 2. It acts more like an SMG. It recently got made a little bit better because the Headshot Multiplier actually acts like an assault rifle. So you can one frame players with this gun still if you hit your headshots. But otherwise it's kind of just a weak SMG or a weak assault rifle. Depends how you see it. It doesn't really belong on the assault rifle class because the range is pretty bad on it. It's got quite a bit of bloom or recoil if you cannot control it. So that's why I put it at number 6. At number 5, now we're going to really get into it, is the AK-24. This gun has been like one of the best assault rifles in the game and one of the worst. I think it's kind of at the bottom right now, even though I think it's very useful assault rifle. You just got to play a little bit more defensive with it because it has a slower rate of fire. That's why I put it on number 5. And let's get into the attachments real quick with this gun. I usually use the Fusion Hollow, I have the K8 Hollow as well. Then I have the Drum Mac, uh, the Extended Mac and Standard Issue. Mainly switch between the Extended and the uh, Drum Mac uh, when I run out of ammo. I use the LWG Grip. I only recommend using this if you use McKay. Otherwise use the Cobra Grip as shown right here. And I have the Laser Sight as backup. Then I use the Arkham Tactical, Tactical Muscle Break as a barrel and sometimes I'll go with the extended barrel if I want to pick up players from longer range. But yeah the AK-24 is a very good weapon it's just a little bit too slow to compete with all the other weapons in the game right now in my opinion. It's only good at longer range mid range type of targets. If you hit your headshots it's very good it can two tap from pretty much any range I believe but however that's the only thing it's really good at. Up close you're going to be beaten by most assault and SMG weapons and for longer range, there's still some weapons that can compete with the AK-24 very well. That's why I think I, it deserves a top of 5 at the number 5th spot, obviously. Um, on to number 4, which is the AC-42. This has been a weapon that has also been one of the best weapons in the game. And not really the worst. It's never really been the worst gun, but it can kind of act a little bit strangely. Because it is a burst weapon, it's the only burst weapon in the game that we have right now. However, the gun can still one frame players, it just requires a little bit more accuracy. I think the skill ceiling with the AC-24 is actually quite high. If you're very accurate with the gun, you can beam players and you can still play very well with it. However, if you don't, you're going to be missing a lot of shots. And missing with the AC-42 is definitely... A very punishing with this gun you're gonna be beaten in a lot of gunfights it can one frame that's why i think it's better than the ak-24 especially for that mid range you can beam players quite well if you struggle to control recoil you're really gonna like to use burst weapons i just don't think it's very good anymore for the close range it gets very awkward using burst weapons especially with the weird input and hit registration in 2042 and for longer range, you'll notice how much weaker the gun is right now. I think a while ago it got a nerf to where the bullet damage drop off is increased. So from range, it's not really worth to use it anymore. For the attachments, I use the Fusion Hollow. Sometimes I go to single fire mode and use the 6x scope for it. I have the extended mag, the high power and standard issue in case I run out of ammo. Uh, the laser sight, you can also use a grip, but I don't think it's really necessary on a burst weapon. And I use a tactical compensator, compensator, which increases the recoil, but it reduces the spread, so your bullets will actually go where you're shooting, which I thought was a little bit more worth it for those medium range engagements. 
So for a number three, we're getting in the top three right now. It is a gun that has been one of my favorite and one of my most used guns in Battlefield 2042 and it's the M5A3. It's a gun that's kind of your standard assault rifle, high fire rate, not too much recoil and it can do everything kind of decently. So it's a very um, versatile weapon. You can use it in a lot of situations pretty much. However, it became a lot weaker from range compared to a lot of other assault rifles like the s -Bar and I think the M16 as well. You definitely notice this gun plays a little bit more like an SMG than an actual assault rifle. The gun damage drop off is quite big. Unless you use certain attachments, you can kind of get around it. But I just don't think it does uh, that much damage anymore from range. And up close, it is very good, especially when you use laser sight. You will get outgunned by SMGs, however. But I think with the high fire rate, it is a very good gun to use in pretty much any situation. That's why I think it definitely deserves a top 3. However, it's just kind of weak now from range. Uh, which used to be, I think, one of the best guns in the game right now. But since it's kind of weaker from range, I think it's number 3 now, at least in the assault uh, list. Um, so the attachments that I use for it are the Fusion Hollow, the Close Combat. If you want to go for longer range, definitely use the Extended Mag. You'll notice the damage drop off even worse when you use the Close Combat rounds. I have the Extended Mag and the Laser Sight. The Laser Sight I use for the Close Range gunfights to make it a little bit more useful for close range and the short barrel. I have a soundless backup in case I'm on the flanks. Now we're going into number two and this is kind of a gun that got buffed recently. The M16A3 from Portal from Battlefield 3 got brought into the game with one of the latest patches and it got a buff recently. It used to be pretty much one of the worst guns in the game because it had so much recoil. Right now they almost completely removed the recoil on it. Um, the grenade launcher used to be kind of OP, I think they nerfed that right now, so I don't really use it anymore, but the gun itself actually beams very well. You'll notice getting one frame by this gun quite often, because it's very easy to hit headshots with this. It doesn't have a lot of bloom anymore, I think they uh, lowered the bloom on this gun as well, which makes it overall a lot more accurate from pretty much any range possible. Uh, you will st definitely notice this. If you haven't used this gun since the update, I highly recommend trying out this weapon. It's pretty much one of the lowest recoil weapons right now in the game. It is still kind of weak. I don't think they changed the damage at all, but it is, since it's literally one of the most accurate weapons, it pays off in accuracy very well, especially when you're trying to kill players from head glitches, which most guns aren't very good in 2042 because they have a little bit of bloom. It's hard to be precise and accurate with weapons if your bullets aren't going where you're aiming. The M16 doesn't really have that problem so that's why I think it's especially in the assault class it is very good. It really acts like an assault rifle and it's very good at it as well. So for the attachments for portal you don't really have too much choice unfortunately. I like to use the reflex sight. I sometimes go with the cobra sight and because the recoil is now kind of low the PKA 3.4 times is actually very useful using on this gun right now. It kind of like acts like the STG44 three times scope from Battlefield 5 if anyone can remember that. But it's definitely worth using a higher zoom on this gun for longer range targets. And then I have the laser sight as backup to win, have a higher chance at least as winning closer range gunfights. If you start with the recoil definitely use the foregrip instead of the laser sight. I don't, I have the um, the grenade launch as backup, don't really use that anymore. Definitely use the heavy barrel, it increases the effective range damage on this gun. It however increases the recoil as well, so again if you struggle to control the recoil you use the flash suppressor. But I definitely recommend using the heavy barrel, you'll definitely notice from longer range how much quicker you kill players with the M60 now. And then of course, as always, I have the suppressor as backup in case I'm on the flank. Now for the number one, it's been the number one assault rifle, maybe gun in general in the game. And it's the S4M Grenade Launcher. I think a lot of people probably saw this one coming. It is the best gun, I think, in my opinion, in the game. I recently made a top 5 guns overall and I put this gun on number 1. This gun can pretty much do anything. And lately, I don't know with the last update what they've changed. But getting a lot of one frame deaths from the S4 is definitely very common to happen in a game of 2042. The gun absolutely beams. They kind of nerfed the grenade launcher. 
um, which used to be very good. Uh, it's a little bit less useful right now, but still, it has uh, it does a great well impact. What I like about the gun, especially, is it has low recoil. It does great damage from pretty much any range. You'll barely notice damage drop off. So you can pick up players from pretty much any range you want, as long as you're accurate enough. And because it doesn't have much recoil, it isn't very hard to be super accurate with it. The, maybe the only down part is up close, and even then it's still very good. Um, you will lose gunfights from SMGs, but I think it's kind of fair. You can still have a high chance at winning gunfights though with the SFAR. It's pretty much good at anything. That's maybe its only weak spot of the gun is the close range uh, damage because the rate of fire isn't the highest. So for the attachments on the SFAR is I use the uh, Fusion Hollow uh, and I sometimes use a 2 times scope. I should actually have it set up like this. Um, the 2 times scope is actually very good, you should definitely give that a go, you can pick up players from longer range, especially when you're tap firing with this gun, tap firing with the SFAR is super useful, you'll pretty much hit all your shots, there's barely any bloom on it when you're tap firing, so you can pick up players who are not moving from a range pretty quickly, especially because it barely has any damage drop off. But I mainly use the Fusion Hollow, I use the high power drum mag, the standard issue, this um, has uh, the increased rate of fire, so you notice a different uh, difference between these two mags very easily. And I have the high power as backup in case I run out of ammo. I use the factory mounts and the Arkham Tactical Muzzle Brake, and I sometimes use the silence. I barely switch to the barrel pretty much, I always use the Arkham Tactical Muzzle Brake. So that is the top 5 assault rifles in 2042. Let me know what you think of it down in the comment section. If this video was helpful, consider subscribing and leaving a like. And I hope to see you guys in the next video.